All righty, welcome back in. So we are today going to talk about building a crane uh, to bring up the stone and all that you are building in an open mine shaft. Now this is going to be different, but depending on how you decide you want to do it, but I'm going to show you this basis. So this one wouldn't be an arm style. It would be more of a conveyor. You'd bring it up and then it would bring it over, set it down. You'd unload the rocks. This is how you would uh, make it operate. That's a beehive smoker that I glitched into the wall there. Uh, you've got, and I'm going to show you how you build all this. Um, railings or fences glitched into the ground and then a little bit of stone. It looks like we brought up some. You got a pail there. This is the war banner. And you would go down in a square spiral sterile staircase. You know, you got some more to go in there. You got tools to do all your mining, maybe a, a workbench with the uh, blueprints because, you know, we got to make sure we're not underpinning. Uh, we are underpinning the above structure, not undermining it. And I'm going to show you how you do all that today. We're going to go over here to the testing grounds and we're going to make one ourselves. This was the uh, troll bridge build that I am working on. So over here, I have started an open mine. So this is, if you go into your hammer, you're going to want to use the 4x4, four four, the 4 meter, excuse me, and you're going to want to place four of them. So get yourself a, a square of four blocks of 4 meters. Then you're going to go into this little jobby. In my opinion, raising this up a little bit is, is superior and you want to center it center it's a little bit of annoying but it does work just fine then I'm going to go up here to this now I have found that shroud wood seems to be the best look for a platform that we are going to raise up and I don't just want it this two meter square I'm going to ring it one more all the way around I started this build but I didn't finish it because I wanted us to finish it together so that you could see what I'm doing. I'll try to make the video as quick and informative as I can. All right, so now that we have that size, how you're gonna get down this is you're gonna go to stairs, pick whichever type of material you want to use for stairs. I'm gonna pick the stone because I have so much of this from digging that bridge out. And you're going to want to go along this edge, but you're going to want to sink it in one. So come over one notch into the wall. And what that does is creates a slightly smaller step, but it still works just fine. And we're going to go down and then this should leave us with three once we get to the very bottom. So one, two, three, we make a platform that's three by three and you can honestly just do this, put it on there. Let's turn the snapping off like that. And then you would come down this wall and then make a three by three square, go down that wall, etc., to whatever depth you decided was correct for your build. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place this underneath. There's a reason for this. I need to actually build out the depth of this, I'm going to have to do it from the other side. One more because we need that to sink in the stair, uh, the uh, fencing. It works a lot easier by doing it this way. You don't have to actually do the whole depth. And we'll go in and remove a bunch of this. But by doing that, then I can remove some of this top section. Honestly, I can remove all of it. I probably shouldn't even put that first, but that's okay. Because I want to set the railings. Keep calling them railings. The fencing. I want to set it on the lower level. And then once we've set it on the lower level, we're going to replace the wood, delete the bottom level, and it will give us a look that we're trying to find here. So... I'm going to come all the way to the edge until it clips over and then just back it off. Just like that. 
Now, you can go all the way to the edge, line it up all the way to the edge. I don't think it's that necessary to get the look we're trying for here, but you can do that. So we're going to come out. Go back in just a touch. I want as large of surface area as I can get on the top of this without going having it seen through the outside. And lastly, this one. Like that. Now we're going to put these back where they went. Which is a little easier said than done. Get on there. Which is the edge? That's the edge? Okay. What this is giving us is a platform to place our stone to stack, I would say. So that gives us a platform. Now, it would be nice if it was closer to the edges, but that's why you can also do a smaller size if you choose. And now when we delete all of this stuff, it doesn't show the fencing below. So you delete all that stuff. I'm not going to go into all of that craziness just now. One thing I am going to do is go ahead and do this banner. So I try to do it so that the banner is facing. It's really hard to tell. So it's facing along the side of whatever our column is here, whatever our crane. It's really hard with our character in the way, devs. Maybe give us a way to not have our character right in the middle of the way. So center it as best as you can. And then we'll do the rest of the work up there. But before we do that, let's go into this. We've got our stone. And what we're trying to do here is make some rocks. I mean, that's the point of this, right? We're, we're digging up rock. We're bringing it up to the surface because we're mining. So just get a little bit of rock going on. Maybe a little more piece there. All right, we got some there. Maybe this guy's a little bit smaller. And then maybe we got another one over here. I'm not going to go too in-depth in this because you get the idea. Maybe that one's just a little bit taller. All right. So then, I don't know, maybe they got a bucket over here or something. Uh, let's put a bucket down. Just, may, they needed a bucket for some reason in, in this thing, and they've got it on here. We're going to off-center it just a little bit. Out like that. And there you go. So now you have a platform that's bringing up rocks from down below, but we still need to make this thing swing out, right? So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, go back to my shroud wood here, now, this is the tarred wood. I feel like that looks better because of what the shroud wood does. And I'll show you what I mean. Do you see how the shroud wood has these edges that stick out? Right here, right there, on all sides. I don't think that looks as appropriate as this does for the building style we're going for. So, I'm going to put this. We're going up just two blocks. There's going to be a reason, and I think you'll like it. Now we're going to go to the roof. I'm going to use the roof tiles block. Give a nice little look right there. And then I'm going to go back to the tarred shingle roof. And we're going to do that. Now we're starting to look like a proper crane. We've got some ports here. Now we need to go back here. We've got tarred wood. We're going to go to, let's see. I think that level should work. We're going to put these two here. We're going to go out of this. I'm going to get my smoker out. Make sure it's going the right direction. So since that sticks over a little bit, we'll put the smoker right about here. It's not sticking in as far as I would like this time. So we can fix that by doing this. We're going to take out two pieces. 
go back to our smoker. We're going to get our smoker in to where we kind of like it. Maybe about, maybe about right there. We're going to go back to this. We're going to hit... Oh, is it... Y, Y. Bring that back. All right, very good. And there you go. So now we have our button that we can use to press to operate the crane. And we've got our anchor that goes up, the quote cable that goes up, or rope. But we're not quite done yet. So now what we need to do is come over here. We're going to go up to this big boy. And I'm going to chunk off just the last section here. Too tall. And you can see it there, too tall. So we're going to go back to the roof. Go back to this tile. We're going to go here and there. Jump down here. Go back to the tarred shingle. And then it's kind of hard to get to this angle. Hey, now. Why didn't you work? Oh, because I went to the wrong spot. Why isn't this working? That is being a pain. Did I put them on there right? Or am I not reaching it? Make sure these are on there right. No, they're on there right. I'm probably not getting to it properly. There it is. There you go. Now look at that. Now you've got that kind of curve up there, which also looks like the pivot or the anchor that would, excuse me, that would run the cable over down in through this. So that looks really good. But now we also need to do the top. So this is the, what I'm trying to achieve isn't quite working like I want it to, but we're going to see what we can come up with here. So we're going to go back to this and we're going to go back to the tarred wood. I need to come up one right here because I need to come over. And now I need to come over just one more. to leave that be for the moment. Not nah, one more was wrong. Oh, it would have been right if I'd put it on there correctly. There. So now the hard part, and it doesn't work as nice as I would like it to, uh, but it does work. So the idea for this is I'm putting this up here as an additional pivot like a, like a swing point. Is this going to let me do this? So I want to get it centered directly on that. Uh, about right there. Now, unfortunately, if I go one block higher, then it, it buries that wood wheel inside of this wood. So it's unfortunate. I wish I could get it a little bit nicer, but... It is what it is. So I need to bring out that much. And I need to bring back. Go to this one. Like that. And then. Nope, I'm wrong. This needs to come out here. And there. Not adding. I swear sometimes my brain doesn't work properly. Well, that's not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I'm again. Kill me. I'm trying to do all this and get it all done before day the sunlight runs out. All right. So that looks good there. Actually, I think I'll go ahead and just leave this chonky at the end. 
Nice and chunky. So then we're going to go to this big boy. I'm going to bring this out. So the idea being, you know, you've got that round disc to help you move. And I don't like how that looks. We're going to have to cinch it back just a little bit more. I think maybe we will have to do those because I don't know that I lo love the look of that. Okay, so I don't want them there. I don't want them here. Here puts them there, back all the way. Seems like it would go over too far if I did it. Let's try here and see what it looks like. Okay, change back. Go to you. There and there. Go to here. There. And there. Well, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. So now I need to get rid of these things. Get rid of this. And that. Oh, I got one more thing to put in. So there's one last thing that you can do. Well, actually, there's several last things. So maybe you would also have a workstation. You know, you'd have some blueprints because they got to see what the heck's going on, right? They got to know what they're digging down there. Foreman's got to have somewhere to sit. Got to have his coffee. And then we're definitely going to need a way to keep people from going inside this damn thing, right? You don't want them just falling off into no into the mine. Let's change that that way. Let's change it like that. We'll add one there. I think we'll get one there. And this one, let's just do kind of a... We ran out of resources, so we only had enough for one. So we're going to put that around there. And this. This is the harder part to do. So what I want to do is cinch this in here so it looks like there's a wheel coming out that's using, that's helping to m maneuver that. Like it's, uh, how to explain this? The counterbalance, I guess. So here, there, that. Let's see if we can get this and actually get it to look all right. We, that's not what I wanted. It's going to be dark time. It's about like that. And the way you can actually get rid of that. Let's do this. And get rid of these now. So now you have a wheel, you have a little bit of a roof type. You could actually put it, make it roof. Let's do this side. Yeah, it doesn't work, work perfectly, but you get the idea. You could place it somewhere around this. And this gives you a form of crane that you can use for your open mine go around click get rid of all this stuff so you only have the top section and i think it works really well it's it's gonna need some creativity on your end just to get it exactly right but i think it looks pretty cool it, it gives uh, a way to do some things that we can't currently do even though there are cranes in the games we just don't have access to them and there you are and then just dig to you till as far as you want to go down enjoy guys have a good day